Eliud, apart from being the greatest marathoner alive, he's also quite the philosopher. And uh, days before the king of marathon, Eliud Kipchoge takes to the streets of Vienna in Austria in an attempt to venture where no human ever has. His family, clan members and neighbors are prayerful that their son will make history on the global stage. Lois Wangoi reports. An early morning drive to the maternal home of Eliud Kipchoge, a man on a mission to go past the human limit. On the way, our guide shows us Kapisewa Primary School, where Eliud Kipchoge studied for his primary school education. We were teaching with Janet Rotich, who is a mother of Eliud Kipchoge. Also, his coach comes from our area. Eliud Kipchoge's ancestral home, some three kilometers from the school. We found his mother and some family members in high spirits, from the portraits on her wall to the wristband on her arm. This is a story of a mother who is proud of her son. She's hopeful that Kipchoge will once again stun the world on Saturday. At Kapsisewa Shopping Center, the excitement is high as members of the Talai clan, which traces its ancestry to the famous Nandi warrior Kuitalel Arab Samoe, are waiting for their son's roar as it is the symbol of the clan who pride themselves as lions. To them, the race will be of historic proportions. 1919 is when the Talai was brought here in Kapsisewa, and this is 2019. Despite the national and county government taking pride in Kipchoge's prowess, the same is not reflected on the ground. The pathetic state of the road leading to the king of the marathon traditional home tells a story of a community marginalized both by the colonial and the current government. The community will hold a vigil on Friday night at St. Paul's Kapsisewa Catholic Church and later watch the race on a giant screen that will be mounted at Kapsisewa Primary School grounds. Lois Wangoi, NTV in the county of Nandi.